Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I've got a little bit of a different meals of the week for you. I asked if anyone would like to see our low carb dinner ideas and so many of you messaged and said yes please. So at the moment my husband Steve and I are eating a more low carb diet. The reason for it is not that I'm like one of these people that thinks carbs or sugars are bad in any way. It's just that for us it's a really good way to like naturally restrict calories rather than counting every calorie we find that if we cut out things like bread potatoes pasta that kind of thing then you tend to naturally reduce your calorie intake because like with bread you always have to have like butter on it and a filling the same with potatoes you tend to either turn them into chips which you'd have with something or like cheese on a jacket pasta you know you you top it with creamy sauces or like spaghetti or you know if you make a bolognese you put it on top of pasta whereas if we don't have carbs we would put the bolognese on top of vegetables and then it naturally restricts your calorie intake so these are all low carb meals they're also quite low calorie as well um, obviously the boys are having slightly different things because they're growing boys they don't need to restrict anything but I've tried to keep it family friendly so if we're having something um, like a chilli I will do them rice and we'll have cauliflower rice if we're having curry the same thing it's just about making like wiser choices each time or better choices and also I find that our energy or our energy can't speak for Steve but my energy has gone through the roof my skin is so much clearer that's probably because I'm drinking about three liters of water a day as well um, but yeah I just feel like I'm sleeping better I don't feel that sort of sluggish feeling I'm going to bed like nice and early I'm reading my book like staying awake reading then I'm falling asleep and having a really decent sleep and I struggle really badly with sleep I have really bad insomnia I can spend hours and hours awake each night but since cutting down my carb intake I find that I'm sleeping better as well it could be to do with the fact that we've also cut down on our alcohol intake which always affects your sleep doesn't it so that's probably why my skin's looking better as well but anyway I'm going to finish rambling now if you do like this kind of content obviously it's not all low carb but there's a lot of food content on this channel I do hauls I do reviews I do cook with me's we also do family vlogs when we go away on holidays and days out and things so I would love to have you subscribe and stick around and without further ado let's go and have a look at what we've been eating so I'm just starting tonight's dinner and we are going to have some roasted kale this is 200 grams it looks masses but it's a bit like spinach where it wilts down and there won't be as much left so I've just put it on a baking tray and I've sprayed it with some oil, seasoned it really well with salt. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. And I forgot to add that I'm going to pop it in the oven for around 8 to 10 minutes on about 200 degrees. You need to keep an eye on it because it does catch and go brown really quickly. So in my pan over here I've just got a load of mushrooms and an onion. I'm going to brown these off and then I'm going to add some quark, a little bit of Dijon mustard and some salt and lots and lots of black pepper to this to make kind of like a mushroomy onion black pepper sauce and then I'm going to cook the steak on the grill. So here we've got our sirloin steak and I'm just putting some of this Trader Joe's Mushroom and Company umami seasoning on it and I'm just going to put it on our grill once it's heated up. So I've added some garlic powder and some salt and loads of black pepper to my onions and mushrooms. Now they're starting to brown I'm just going to let them go a little bit further and then I'm going to add some of the quark and a little bit of Dijon mustard. Alright, so I'm just going to add a couple of heaped teaspoons, more like tablespoons. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I've taken it off the heat and then I'm just going to mix it all together. I'm just going to put it back on a really low heat. So I've just added a splash of water and also a splash of soy sauce to make the sauce to make it a little bit more liquidy. My kale is almost done. I'd say it's been in there about 10 minutes maybe. And the steaks are done. I'm just gonna let them rest for a little while and then dish up. Right, so here's the kale out of the oven. I've let a few bits go brown and the rest of it is kind of not brown. Um, don't want the whole thing to go brown otherwise it'll be quite bitter. So here is our kale dished up. It's gone nice and crispy and I'm just about to put the steak on top and then put our sauce over the top of that. So here we are dished up, I've just put the steak on top of the kale and then our mushroom and quark sauce on top of that and it's smelling amazing. I have told Steve not to season it because the sauce is really salty, very peppery and it's one of those dishes that you don't need to add anything else to, not even chilli I don't think. So this is what we've got tonight. 
So starting off tonight's dinner, I've just got some of these frozen spices. So we've got some chopped coriander or herbs and herbs, spice, herbs. <laughs> some chopped coriander, some chopped chilli, some chopped garlic. And I've just popped it in here with a red pepper and some cauliflower rice. It's frozen, which is why it's still in blocks. Um, this is two small bags of cauliflower rice and I've chopped some chicken up. I'm going to add a little bit of passata to this and a few other various seasonings and then some chicken breast. Steve and I are trying to eat a little bit healthier so we try and use like low carb stuff and collie rice and veg instead of like rice and pasta. So I'm just going to wait for this to sort of defrost a bit and then add the chicken through. I'll probably put some more like spices from the cupboard, some salt and pepper and like I said a little bit of passata and that will be our dinner. Here is our chicken, cauliflower rice, red pepper. I've just garnished it with some spring onions. There is pretty much every seasoning I've got in my cupboard in here, along with some balsamic vinegar. And we're going to top it with sriracha sauce. So this is Steve's, and this is mine. And that's what we're having tonight. So I'm just starting tonight's dinner, and I'm making some spaghetti bolognese for the boys, or actually it's going to be pasta bolognese. And then Steve and I are having a bit of more low carb dinner. So I've got some corn pieces in here, a courgette, a mushroom, some chilli and garlic and then I've got some of this dark soy sauce, some of this umami seasoning from Trader Joe's and some Chinese salt and chilli pepper seasoning and I'm also going to mix this with some of the naked noodles or like bare, like the carb free noodles, I'll show you those when I get that far. And so these are the noodles we're using, they're only 15 calories per serving and they come in a bag like this and all you have to do is make sure you rinse them a few times and they're actually quite nice the texture isn't too bad i know a lot of people aren't keen on these noodles but they really have improved them so i'm just going to rinse those through a few times and then add them into our corn mix and as long as you put loads of seasonings on it's just a nice sort of noodly texture okay, so here it is dished up i've added the noodles in and it just looks like a normal corn stir fry so we've got courgettes mushrooms corn pieces and loads of chili and garlic and then the bare naked noodles I'm just marinating my chicken for tonight's low carb meal so I've got a sandwich bag over here and in this I've just put some chopped coriander some chopped garlic and chopped chili this is all like frozen some are from ice and some are from Tesco and I suppose I've probably put I don't know I'd say two cloves of garlic probably the equivalent of one fresh chili and a big chunk of coriander um, the coriander isn't as nice frozen as the fresh stuff I've got outside but because of the time of year the one outside isn't growing at the moment so I'm using the frozen but I'm not a great fan of it. I've then got two large chicken breasts and I've sliced them in half just to make it a bit easier to cook them on the grill and I'm going to put these in a salad. Now I've got some smoked paprika, I love this, I have it on pretty much everything and um, what I'm going to do is just sprinkle it over both sides of the chicken and then I'm going to add some lemon and lime juice into the bag. Turn these over, sprinkle it on both. Add some lemon and lime juice into the bag, pop these into the bag, give it a good like mush around, and then leave it in the fridge until we're ready to eat it, which in this case is gonna be um, probably about five hours. So as long as you can leave it, you can leave it overnight, but a good couple of hours at least. And so here's my chicken, I've given it a good mix round and kind of massaged it with my hands so that it's all coated with all the nice seasonings, you can see it's changing colour, it smells amazing and this is definitely a good tip if you are trying to cut your calories or trying to cut down carbs then if you really pack in the flavour you really don't find yourself missing as much if you know what I mean rather than just a plain bit of chicken. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and then I'll pop it on the grill a bit later and make up a nice salad. So I've just put the chicken onto the grill and it's going to take, I'm not sure how long, but I close it and it will tell me probably about 10 minutes I would say. This usually now will flash and come up with how long it's going to take. 7 minutes 38. Okay, the chicken is done. I'm just going to slice it up and we're going to put it on top of our salad, which consists of, I've got some spinach, some sweet gem lettuce, tomato cucumber, some spring onion, I've got salt, pepper, some Frank's red hot wing sauce, tiny bit of Worcestershire sauce and some nutritional yeast just sprinkled over it. This gives it like a sort of cheesy flavour without the cheese. And we're just going to put our chicken on the top. And there we are all plated up. So I've just put my chicken on top and this is what we're having for dinner tonight. So I'm just starting tonight's dinner for me and Steve and we're going to be having some corn mince with, I've got an onion in there, I've got some fresh tomatoes, some fresh chilli and garlic. And then I've put my corn mince in some Worcester sauce, salt and pepper, 
and then I've got a little bit of passata left over in the fridge so I'm going to pop that in as well and then I've got two bags of cauliflower rice and a lamb stock pot <laughs> and I'm going to put all that in together and that's what we're going to have I don't think it's going to need anything else it's got the garlic and the chilli and the tomato so maybe a little bit of a little bit more salt and pepper perhaps and just mix it all together and that's what we're going to have on our low carb dinner so here it is dished up not the most interesting looking meals but it is really tasty and it smells good so this is what we've got for our dinner tonight um, in here I've got some the bits that need using up so I've got some spinach um, which is what needs using up the sprouts were from a bag that's left over in the freezer like frozen sprouts so I've put them both in a pan I've put some garlic some coriander and some chili in there as well and then I've got some hex sausages that I'm going to chop up and mix through this with some tomato puree and hopefully we'll end up with some sort of veggie low carby kind of meal with sprouts Right, so this is what it's looking like now. I've just tasted it. I can't work out what it tastes like. Steve can't work out what it smells like. Um, but it looks good. And it, it's almost steaming up. It's almost like an Indian kind of dish that we've had. But it's got sausages in and sprouts. So nothing like an Indian we've ever had. But that's what it's reminding me of, the smell. I've added so many spices I couldn't even tell you. But I'm just about to dish it up. And here it is dished up. We're just going to add a little bit of Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce and that's what we've got tonight. Sausage and sprouts. So the next night we did some roasted vegetables. So we've got some broccoli, some pepper and some tomatoes. And we just spray some oil over this and pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes. And then we've got some little chicken burgers that I found in the fresh section. They come in a pack of four and they're actually really, really nice. And they're also low fat, low carb and low calorie be the prettiest dinner but another low carb idea if the whole family's having hot dogs like ours are tonight then i've just done the hot dogs but i've actually used lettuce leaves as the like buns so we've got some onions some mushroom i've got some yellow mustard and some ketchup and then i've just put them on lettuce leaves i'm probably going to take a knife and fork as well but it's just quite a good idea because the buns obviously are very high carb and this isn't so yeah hot dogs in lettuce it's just another nice low carb idea and it doesn't make you feel like you're missing out so I'm just starting our dinner for tonight and I've got some smoked bassa fillets and what I'm going to do is just cook them in the oven for about 20 minutes I'm just going to sprinkle some of this chilli and lime seasoning on it so I'm going to serve it with some spinach, some roasted mushrooms and I'm going to top it with an egg so I sprayed my mushrooms with some of this vegetable oil spray and then I'm just going to pop it in the oven for 20 minutes so I'm just going to do mine with a fried egg on top because I'm absolutely useless at doing poached eggs, I'm going to try and crack this with one hand. This probably isn't a good idea. Oh, she managed. There's probably loads of shell in that. Two things I can't cook, poached eggs and rice. I just seem to mess them up every time. Steve's really good at poached eggs, so I could have got him to do them. But I'm just going to crack another egg in here using both hands. And then I'll be ready to dish up. So I've just laid my fish on top of my spinach, put my mushrooms on, I've popped the egg on top of that. Also the liquid that came out of the fish, I've just drizzled that around the spinach as well, which will wilt it a little bit. Um, that's why I didn't cook the spinach, because I knew that like, the heat and the moisture would make it wilt. And yeah, this is a really nice low carb, very low calorie dinner. And it's got a lot of protein, so it should be really nice and filling. And I've put some salt and pepper on, and I've just got to cut into the egg just to get that lovely egg shot. And it's cooked just perfectly. And there we go. So my last meal is actually a breakfast. And what I do is make an omelette. It's, I think I've showed this on my channel before. It's just a basic omelette. In here I've got two eggs whisked up. And I've also got a good like tablespoon of water. Because that helps the eggs to puff up. And it makes a much fluffier omelette. It works the same if you have scrambled egg. Always put like a tablespoon for two eggs. Or a teaspoon for one egg of water just helps it to puff up so in here I'm going to just put 50 grams of this roast chicken and then I'm going to drizzle some hot sauce in the middle and fold it over I've already put a little bit of salt in the eggs and then that's basically my omelette and this is about 220 calories and it keeps me full all morning right up until lunchtime much more than like a piece of toast and butter would so I've added in my torn up chicken and some hot sauce. This is just the little um, hot peri peri sauce. I'm going to let it set a little bit and then fold it over and that's my breakfast. And I'll have this with a good pint of water. And as always when you're about to film food and you want it to look good, it sticks to the pan and looks awful. But this is my breakfast and the washing machine started spinning. So I'm going to leave it there but it's really filling and a really good idea if you want some protein in the morning. So 
that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment and let me know because i really want to know whether it's worth making more of these and let me know how you're all doing and also any suggestions if you're low carbon or if you're on a certain plan or anything i'd love to hear from you all tips are welcome we could all do with a helping hand and let's make the comment section of this video somewhere that people can refer to for different ideas and tips and things and use it for some good so with all that being said i hope you're all staying safe and well and i'll be back really soon with another video take care guys this is what we waited for